Let's move to the Midwest, my favorite state in the Union after Florida, Iowa. All right. Uh, Bruce Braley wins this in, in Iowa 1. Sorry, Mike Whalen. Uh, Lobsack, if he were a better candidate, this would be a great year for Democrats to pick up Indiana, Iowa 2. Um, I say if it goes 40 seats, Leach could lose, but I'm with you. Why is Boswell still running such a, such a close race? He'll still win, but it'll be by three points, and Democrats will be begging for him to retire in 2000, 2008. Uh, uh, and Latham wins Iowa 4. Yeah, completely agree on Latham. Uh, Leach is my... It, it, Leach is my upset special. I still think Leach wins, but it wouldn't shock me if Loeb sack, because they love their sacks. They do in love, Iowa. They do they love, love their, their sacks, sacks in Iowa. So to speak. So, uh, and obviously Braley, Braley by a lot. Why are we talking about the pirate? Boswell by a lot. I love the pirate. Why are we talking about, let's talk, we'll talk about the pirate later. We'll, we'll get the pirate. All right, it's time. cold up north where we've got three seats to pick from. All right, Wisconsin uh, the 8. Midwest. Wisconsin 8, I'm going with the wave scenario here. I think on Kagan. any other election, Guard wins, but I'm going with Kagan. This because I think Democrat wins... I think the Democratic candidate is going to win most of these open seats. All right. This is a toss-up, though. I mean, this it is, is a pure toss-up. Bush won this by 11 points or something like that? Eh, not that by that much. But it's a... It's a it, no, I think Bush I, by 11. But I believe uh, Clinton carried this district twice. I mean, it's a, it's a swing district, classic swing district, with a slight advantage to the Republicans in a normal year. But I'm with you. I think Kagan wins. I think that, uh, that Gutnick goes down. People love Tim Walls. Oh. People in Washington love Tim Walls. People in Minnesota. Um, the wetterling Bachman race is going to be close. I think that one's going to... Of those three, going to end up being the closest race. So who are you picking? Uh, wow. Wetterly. Uh, I'm with you. I don't. I'm not comfortable with that pick either. But I'm going to go with that. That Minnesota is a is one of the bad states for for Republicans. It's so a I'm bad assume Walls and Wetterling both win. But I feel better about Walls than I do about Wetterling. I feel better about Walls than I do about Wetterling. Wow, wow, wow. Let's go to Barbara Wawa and see if she's got a pick. The amber waves of grain, those fine plains states of the Big Eight. The I love this, Nancy, this James Ryan race because the only reason I was we're even talking about it is because he lied about living next door to Mark Foley. Um, no, that's not entirely <laughs> true. But uh, you like is to pick not, him on. This is one of those races. If Democrats knew that they were going to have this wave last year, they would have recruited a better candidate. Yeah. Uh, Boydo and Boydo would. Uh, uh, I've they, they could probably win this, but I think Ryan holds on. I've talked to some Democrats who are secretly hoping that Boydo mm, doesn't quite get there. They're a little nervous. They think it might be more work. Yeah. To have her there than not to have her there. I've talked to those same Democrats. Yeah. <laughs> and then in your race, Nebraska this is three. My race. Big I correction here. First of all, last week we were <laughs> way into Scott Cleve. Turns out Scott Cleve's not running for anything. It's Kleb, like Kleb lip. Right. Uh, you would we think, don't think that Scott has a Kleb lip. You He's would just think a Kleb. in the rest of America, the K L E E B would be Kleb, but it's apparently Kleb in uh, Western Nebraska. The irony, of course, is the club for growth is going against the Kleb for growth. Fascinating. Huh? That yeah. is overlooked. How about that? Look How for that, that in your hotline overlook tomorrow. But who do you got? Uh, look, I think Bush no is rooting. there. Uh, no rooting. I'm going to give it to Smith. I think yeah, that ultimately, is, if this is a, this fact, is a Republican district. If, if, if Smith by Smith by eight, if won't if, even be that close. If Kleb wins this, then Democrats take a hundred seats. Yeah. I mean, the fact All that right. this is All ridiculous. Right. Calm yourself down. Not a hundred seats. Not in your in your in your wildest dreams living with. All your right, mind. Chuck Todd, relax. Go west, young hotline TV viewer. We'll start in California. A California four. Boy, I tell you, I, I think there's there's three that matter in this state. Um, I think Phil Angelides is a drag on the Democrats, and if he were a stronger gubernatorial candidate, this is Phil Angelides. This oh, is Phil Angelides. Angelides. This is what happens when you're. In. I would feel like the Democrats could get two of these three. I'm going to stick and think that they get one of them. I, I think they will beat Pombo. McNerney will beat Pombo, but sorry, Charlie, you're not beating Doolittle. And you know what? Bill Bray's going to beat Busby. I Aren't mean, they? I know the NRCC just went up again, but Bill Bray's going to win. We I think that. we're all look. We're all going to be waiting up late for these results on uh, on on Tuesday. But look, McNerney lost to Pombo by 21 points two it's years a ago. Cycle. It's a Pombo different cycle. It's, it's a, a different, different cycle, cycle, but it's only two years later. It's a Republican district. I think Republicans hold all three of those. Yeah. Well, you're wrong. All right, now let's move down south. First, let's start in the Sunshine State. The big there's five of them in Florida, potentially. What do you got? Quick. All right. Florida 13. I'm going to go with uh, the, uh, Christine Jennings. I'm with you. Double with that. Uh, I double Florida down with you. Klein I, Shaw. I love Clay Shaw, but I give, I give this to Clay, to uh, Klein, to Rick Klein. I'm going with Shaw there. I'm splitting with Florida you. Florida 8. Rick Keller holds on. Charlie it's Stewart. A, that's going to be closer than the experts think, but I'll stay with Keller. Florida 16 is... Mahoney's going to win. Mahoney's oh, going to be. Of course, Mahoney. Uh, Punch Mahoney's, Foley. Punch I don't know if that's going to be as, as much of a blowout as people want it to Gus be. Gus Bilirakis, Phyllis Busnansky. Uh, that's Bilirakis. I agree. Bilirakis, I think so. So, and, big disagreement um, being. Kathy on, Castor uh, picks up Jim Davis. Big disagreement being on Florida 22. Let's move up to Georgia, where it's a bunch of ex reps running events, a bunch of, of current reps. 
Burns Barrow, rematch, Barrow won last time. Democrats yeah. hold both of these. I completely agree. If you can win in the 04 year, why can't you win in 06? Right. Matt Collins running against uh, Although Barrow Marshall. has some of his, his district t taken away from I actually think it I, it's more difficult. redistricting. I don't know. I think they're both close. I think I think Republicans will win one of them. I guess if I had to put money on it, I'd put money on Collins, right. believe it or not, not Burns. Interesting. Uh, of those two. Quickly, Virginia, too. I think Drake, Drake holds on. I think Drake holds on. If you believe Webb's going to beat Allen, mm. then you got to probably pick Kellum over Drake. But I don't know if well Webb is going to beat Allen by that much. I think it's difficult to say that that's, we'll that's going to have much I say, I say, I say Kellum, but I'm not comfortable with Let's it. Let's go to North Carolina next. Robin Hayes, does he go okay? In a wave, Hayes, he could lose to Kissel. In a wave, he could lose, but I think Robin Hayes holds I on. I think he's got a, a good agree. hold on I agree. He had a district. bad trade vote, that CAFTA. Uh, Char uh, Charlie Taylor. Charlie Taylor and he's Shuler. Is the, it's is, done, isn't it? It's pretty much done. Shuler and, and, wins. You know, I don't know why Laura Bush even bothered to campaign Shuler with him. Shuler wins. The write-in. Texas um, 22. Let's go to Texas. I think Two races. Lampson holds on to this and, and gets defeated he's two leasing. years from yeah. now. He's not, ra he's not owning. He's and leasing. Texas 23. This is, this is, the, uh, this is the, the runoff, the Bonilla runoff. Does right. he get 50% or not? That's all we're predicting. Here. Bonilla always survives. And but, I think but, that but he's got to get over 50 like to avoid the runoff. Can, do you think that the wave is as strong in Texas as it is in the other, pl other no, parts of the no, country? No, I don't. But I think Texas is sort of nutty. I think Bonilla Because wins. of the crazy. I think Bonilla does not get his 50%. And we have a December runoff because Hotline TV needs to do something. <laughs> we'll have a whole show on that runoff. 